And so similar to factoring, we are asked to find the greatest common factor of these two monomials. And so we have two things to consider. We have the number piece and we have the variable piece. And so we can see that the greatest number that would go into eight and 10 would be two. And the largest variable, the highest degree, and so we're looking at the exponent on the variable is gonna be one W. And so the greatest common factor of eight W and 10 W to the power of three would be two W. Again, because two is the largest number that goes into both of them and the highest order on the W Here's a w to the one and a w to the three. The largest one there is w to the first power. Oops, and that's an x, not a w. So I take back what I just said a moment ago. I was copying without paying attention. And so 10 to the power, 10 x to the power of three, the w and the x are not common. And so the greatest common factor is two because the x and the w do not match to be a little bit more careful as I do these now. So 8w to the fourth <coughs> and 13w to the third. Well, 8 and 13, 13 is prime. So the only number that would go into 13 would be one, or both 13 and eight would be one. And I could write the one or not, I'll go ahead and write the one. And then w to the fourth and w to the third, the highest or the lowest w there is w to the third. Another way to write that is just simply w to the third without the one in front of it. We'll try another. We have 10m to the fourth and 15y to the third. So the m's and the y's don't match and so we're not gonna have any of that. And the largest number that goes into both 10 and 15 is five. I'm going to try and find one that does have the variables that are the same, like this one here. So we do have 8y squared and 15y to the fourth. There are no common numbers that go in there. Uh, there are no numbers that go into both 8 and 15, so we just need to look at the variable. And the lowest order of the variable there, they both have at least a y to the squared in them. We'll try maybe one more. <clears throat> try to find one that I like. Here we go. So we have 4m to the power of 3 and 10m to the power of 3. Now 2 goes into both 4 and 10. And they both have an, oops, that's an m to the 2. Making a lot of typos today. They both have m, so we need to figure out which one has the least number of m's in them. It's m to the second power. So 2m to the 2, or 2m squared, is going to be the greatest common factor here.